Hi everybody, I'm Katina McHenry, host of the new show Lifestyle Austin. You know, there's so many amazing people, places, and spaces to see, and on this show we are tapping into the vibe and the electric culture of this city. Every single episode, I'm hanging out in a different part of town, from downtown to central Austin, east, west, north, and south. And we're spotlighting some of the most intelligent entrepreneurs, their inspirational shops and eateries, the best music, the hottest real estate, and we're listing all of the energetic events throughout the city. So be sure to watch Lifestyle Austin and see the city like you've never seen it before. All right, let's go swimming. On today's episode, we're hitting South Austin to say hello to one of Austin's longest operating restaurant tours, Ronald Chang at Chinatown. You'll also meet Liz Cumberbatch, former science teacher turned South Austin cake connoisseur at Sweetness Cake Shop. And Amanda Garcia at Sunshine Realty will show us one of the most exclusive listings in South Austin. So let's go. We are here at Chinatown, the location on Greystone off of Mopac, and I'm talking to Ronald, who is one of the oldest restauranteurs in Austin. I am so glad that I'm able to talk to you and just learn a little bit about what what got you here. So thank you so much. I'm so happy to meet you. So this location has been here for about 40 years. There's this location and also the Westlake location. How have you been able to sustain the business all of these years? Well, it's it's a very simple formula. It's basically, you know, provide a good value to the guests with a good product, you know, in a very nice, clean environment. And that's it. And just keep plugging away. Sometimes, you know, time may be difficult, but you just keep focused on the same value that you have. And that just, you know, eventually will come around. Well, and this didn't, this is like part of your family fabric, your family history. You're telling me about your mom who had the first restaurant on 47th Street? Yes, 47th yeah. and Burner Road. In nine, we opened up our first store in 1970 in January with five tables. And then we started from there cooking out of the kitchen. And the dining room was our uh, bedroom. And we moved into a little cubicle and we lived there for a while in order to you know, survive yeah. as an immigrant, like all immigrants does. You know, yeah. work hard, you know, and my mother taught me how to you know, work hard. Yeah. So that's what we do. And but she's still so, alive, right? She's still alive. But, oh no, I mean, gosh, she, she's never going anywhere. She's 94 years old and she still drives and she's crazy. <laughs> She still drives? Oh yeah. Oh my God. I was speaking earlier about just the entrepreneurial spirit. Not everyone has an entrepreneurial spirit. So when things are not going well, how do you stay motivated and inspired to just go through the low times, but also rebuild and, and bring things back to where they were previously? And that's what's happened here at Chinatown. Well, you know, it's all about focus and then the dedication from the employees. Everybody got pulled together. All my employees, a lot of my employees have still been with me like 40 years, 30 years, you know, long term. So when that time comes, we just, you know, all the employees buckle down and we work at it. Good times, you know, we all enjoy the good times. Yeah. You know, and we also keep the focus on, you know, the value, quality of food and everything else and don't waver from any of that. Yeah. You know, there's a lot of weird times that, you know, it's the easy way out. Well, you know, I'm so, that's one of the things. I just keep going to be doing this because I'm so proud of it. I'm going to hell live to I don't know who else is around. Yeah. You know, not too many because I started out so young. Yeah. You know, so I don't think there's too many around at my age. Still here, not going anywhere. For the next 10 years, I, I, you know, that's as long as my lease runs. <laughs> Coming up next, we'll head to Sweetness Cake Shop to see how head baker Liz Cumberbatch turned her love for science and measurements into Austin's newest sweet spot. All right, now we are visiting with Liz Cumberbatch. She is the owner, the cake artist, the cake connoisseur at Sweetness Cake Shop. I am so excited to talk to you because I love cake. <laughs> and I love beautiful cake. So thank you so much for having us today. I love your story because it makes sense what you're doing now. You used to be a science teacher. So tell me a little bit about just your background and how you sort of evolved into making cakes. 
Yeah, so I've always loved science. Um, and when I graduated, I graduated with a major in health sciences. And then I started teaching soon after. And I taught middle school science. So I was with sixth graders and it was so fun. And I loved it. But ever since I was little, like my science always bled to baking. So I was always in the kitchen, super young age. My mom would teach me my math and my reading and everything, practicing with baking. and. It eventually just got to the point where I was always making cakes, always baking, and then my friends were like, if you don't start selling these, like, we're gonna have a problem. So I was like, okay, <laughs> fine, fine. So one summer I started selling them while I wasn't teaching because we have the summers off, and yeah. it kind of just exploded from there. Yeah. It has been really different to have that, like, the structure of the teaching kind of taken away from it, and now it's just all on me. So it's definitely been different, but it's also been kind of fun to like make my own schedule and like yeah. get into my own rhythm, but it's definitely been very different. Yeah, was there ever a point where you were just afraid that it wasn't going to work? Teaching is so like built into structure. Like we wake up at the same time, we do everything at the same time, like there's bells and everything. So to go from that to being completely on my own was very scary and very different. Um, and I really appreciate my family and my therapy for helping me through it, but definitely scary, definitely different. Well, and you not only make cakes, but you're also doing t uh, teaching classes mm -hmm. and doing cake classes. Yeah. So tell me about just kind of the inspiration, the motivation for that. And is it, is it something that's becoming more popular as people like are getting more into the cake world? Mm -hmm. um, I finally pulled the trigger and they have been like the most fun thing that really? I've done. They bring me so much joy. They just make me so happy because it honestly combines both my passions, teaching and being able to decorate cakes. So it's kind of seamless for me, that transition to it. But I was really particular in that I wanted them to be like more of a social event. I didn't really want them to be like, here's how to start a caking business or here's how to get a perfect edge to make your you know next business adventure successful i wanted to allow like a space for people to come like unwind and relax and become creative i think as someone who was working two full-time jobs and very stressed i was very aware of the fact that there was a lack of space for people to just come and be and like mess up in the creative world or get back into the creative world and i hear so much from the people that come from the class those kind of remarks of like this was just so relaxing yeah. or like this really helped like i haven't been able to get back to like art or anything like that like um my last class i had several people that were painless like they did art and they're like i love being able to get back into this world and like get into that so I love being able to facilitate that for others. Well, you're making people happy. Just the presentation and then I'm sure tasting the cake. <laughs> Thank you so much, Liz. This has been so good. So, so good. Are you ready to step inside one of Austin's most exclusive multi-million dollar listings? We're taking you inside this gorgeous new build with a pool. I am standing in a prime piece of real estate, a multi-million dollar home in South Austin on West Oak Drive. This is listing for $3 million. Joining me right now is Amanda Garcia with Sunshine Realty. This house is amazing. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. I can't take the credit. This is actually built by KBK Investments um, and Keenan with EXP holds this listing. But it is a beautiful home in a wonderful location in South Austin. Yes. Um, and so this is a five bedroom, four and a half bath home. Uh, master is downstairs, four bedrooms upstairs, half bath downstairs as well. It has some wonderful features in it. Lots of built-ins, lots of custom features. The gold touches everywhere I think are in right now for interior design. You have the beautiful uh, open uh, island area. So this there's gorgeous and tons of features in here that are great. Okay, and then we have this beautiful master bath. The features in here are everything. Everything. I would never leave this space. <laughs> and I, I love that they have the huge windows yes. that are just, I mean, you have so much privacy here. Yes. I wanted to go outside because it's Austin, it's Texas, it's hot, and having a pool in an outdoor space, entertaining space, I think is a great idea. So I'd love to go see some of those features. Yes, and a pool is a must in Texas. Yes. This is such a beautiful, clean, modern outdoor space, and I love that they have a pool. Yes, and in Texas, this is a must, right? So also, very Austin vibe is having an outdoor space to entertain, and this is it. Like you said, it's very clean. You have the gas grill, you have the shade awning, and you just have this beautiful, sleek pool. Yeah, I love it. All right, let's go swimming. No, yeah. just kidding. <laughs> Here's your first look at what's happening this month throughout Austin, brought to you by our friends at Giant Noise PR. 
Enjoy the Austin Food and Wine Festival presented by Food and Wine Magazine and C3 Presents. It's a weekend celebration of food, wine, and spirits and will welcome top tier talent from across the country. Get your tickets at LifestyleAustinTX.com. The event is November 1st through 3rd. On November 8th, get ready Longhorns, the Texas versus Florida game is coming up and Sign Bar is celebrating early with their Gator Roast from 6 to 10. And Longhorns from November 29th through January 1st, the University of Texas at Austin presents Longhorn Lights, a holiday light celebration for Longhorn Nation and the Austin community. Find more information at LifestyleAustinTX.com. Get more information on all these events and more at LifestyleAustinTX.com. Thank you so much for joining us on the South Austin episode of Lifestyle Austin. Be sure to visit us online for more amazing stories featuring the best of Austin all over the city. Thank you for watching. We will see you next time. All right, let's go swimming.